Complin, Wednesday the 24th of October, St. Martin's Broad, Maine. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. 
Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Three in one, Lord of the Sabbath, Prince of Peace, Advocate, Comforter, one in three. As we are surrounded by darkness <clears throat> and our impending unconscious, we recognise our vulnerability and our impotence before you. And we thank you for your immutable imminence. We recognise the lack of claim we have before your greatness, save that you loved us, and when we were still far off you met us in your Son. And so we thank you for bringing us home, for covering us with your wings as a hen would gather her chicks. We thank you for instigating the idea of rest, recreation, recuperation, for the diurnal sequence of activity, and dormition. for the cycles, for the earth, of rest and productivity, for the cycles in life, of procreation, and nurture of life and death. So we fall before you, voluntarily, now, rather than by obligation, then, and we ask, beseech you for your compassion and comfort in the dark hours ahead that you'll protect and preserve us and those we love. We ask you for dreams, that you'd protect our minds. We pray that we would sleep and know your rest. We pray for those who do not rest tonight through anxiety of concerns of this life, as victims of persecution those whose bodies or minds are racked with pain. We pray that they will know your peace and we ask your blessing on all those who are working to that end on their behalf. We think of those who may be working tonight that others may rest, those who have been trapped into sexual slavery by their circumstance, 
and or by criminal gangs. We pray that you will rescue and redeem them. We pray for those away from home through being imprisoned or as part of their employment to enable 24-hour care that they may know your presence with them. And we ask that you would restore them from exile. We think of those <clears throat> internally and externally displaced refugees. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we ask you to protect us, our loved ones, our homes, our communities and nations. We pray a special blessing on those at risk. From oppression, terrorism, and what were once called acts of God, acts of God, and perhaps have more recently been called acts of nature, but perhaps arguably should be called the results of gross human irresponsibility. That they will awaken to the dawn with their homes, communities and countries intact, their families alive, that they may at least live in part of the rest of the day. Rabba in heaven, respected is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our faults as we forgive those who offend against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.